For cattle producing families across the country, maintaining the health of their herd is a critical concern. One way to address that is to continually look for ways to improve, searching for new techniques and technologies that will keep your cattle healthier. We learn more about ways to maintain herd health as Matt Fleck reports. On any given day, you'll find multiple generations of the Kime family riding side by side on their cow-calf operation in the sand hills of Nebraska. Over the years, Shane Kime has figured out the three most important things they need to do on the ranch to produce the highest quality calves. Those calves having proper nutrition, proper vaccination program, and parasite control, we feel that they're ready to go right off of their mothers and go right into any situation that they're going to be put in, whether it be backgrounding lot, whether it go on to grass with them, any of those situations, we feel that we have a strong, healthy calf that's ready to go on for the next stage of their life. The Kime family takes advantage of all the tools they can to help put pounds on their calves. One example is implants, a proven technology that improves an animal's rate of gain. Implants work by increasing the amount of growth regulating hormones, which are naturally produced by the animal. Implants have been used in beef production for several decades, and Shane's family has been using them since putting together their own informal trial back in the mid-1980s. We had a neighbor that actually did a test and he had a control group and then we had three groups that were implanted. I don't remember the exact results of all of them, but I know that the control group that didn't get any impl implant at all were 20 to 25 pounds lighter than the calves that were implanted. And that's when we realized that we needed to take advantage of this technology. And that's where we started, and then we've grown from there. So implants are a great technology to utilize in beef cattle. Uh, they are very consistent in what they do, and they're one of the most consistent technologies that we have in, return, in regards to the return on investment that we get with them. Implants are small pellets that are placed under the skin on the back of the ear. Merck Animal Health offers a pair of reliable, safe, and effective implant products that stimulate weight gain and improve feed efficiency during the grazing season. Two products available from Merck Animal Health for a producer in a grazing situation be a Rougrel, which is the most versatile implant on the market because it's approved for a suckling calf, also approved for a stalker and backgrounding cattle, as well as in the feedlot phase. And it's the only implant approved on the market that can be utilized in all three sectors of the industry. A second product available from Merck Animal Health is Revel RG. It's approved for steers and heifers in a stalker situation or a grazing situation uh, when they're not on their dam nursing. There's a lot of things that we can't control with the weather and the, the forage quality in a grazing situation, but by utilizing an implant, we can be assured that we're going to have an increased uh, weight gain, whether it be coming off the cow at weaning time or during the backgrounding phase or the stalker phase, those cattle are going to be heavier due to that implant. On a suckling calf, we use Ralgro. When we're ready to go to grass with those calves, we use a Revel or G, and then we go on to grass with them. And we actually have some of our buyers that prefer the calves to have had two implants because they feel when they give them their next stage implant, they respond a lot quicker. There are several common misconceptions related to implant use in cattle. One misconception is that implants can have a negative impact on feedlot performance. A lot of times producers are concerned that the feedlots don't want to buy these cattle because they've been implanted and they, they've been led to believe that the cattle aren't going to perform as well in the feedlot if they've been implanted while at the ranch. And Years and years of data has consistently proven that that is not the case, that when you utilize the correct implant that is approved for that class of animal, whether it be a nursing calf or a stalker animal, those cattle will continue to perform at the next level regardless of their previous implant history. So we just try to talk them through it, talk them through what these implants do and how they work and why they should still allow animals to grow at a rapid rate at the next stage. 
Although some consumers believe so-called all-natural beef is better or safer, Dr. Nuttleman says it's another myth that implants significantly raise the hormone levels in the beef products consumers buy. And we compare the amount of hormones that are in beef compared to other natural foods that are consumed by humans, it, it, it's such a minute amount of hormone that it, it's not even relevant from a discussion standpoint. In fact, implants have been thoroughly tested by the Food and Drug Administration to ensure they're safe. Implants also fit in with a growing public interest in sustainability. Since implants work to make cattle operations more efficient, the result of their use is the production of more beef with fewer resources. Railgrill and Revel RG are two products from Merck Animal Health that help us be more sustainable by being more efficient with our available feed resources. We can't always control the amount of resources we have on our ranch, but we can utilize an implant to generate more pounds with the same resources that are available to us. We're losing acres all the time, um, grazing acres all the time, and I think we've got to use all the technology out there we can to produce the same amount of beef on less acres. And with these implants, that, I mean, that's a technology that helps us do that. At J.H. Kyman Sons, the goal is to always produce the best cattle for their customers. Shane knows he can rely on Grow and Revlor G from Merck Animal Health to help them reach that goal. Our profit margins are really slim. And most of it's because of our input costs. And when we're challenged with those kind of things, I think we need to use every technology out there that we can that'll give us an advantage to get the most amount of dollars off of the acres that we have. Through Merck Animal Health, we're able to contact nutritionists or technical support if we have an issue with herd health or we have questions about our forage or parasite control, all those things where they have a various amount of people that can answer questions for us, do research if we need some, and get back to us and help us get back in line with our protocol that we want. For more information on tools available from Merck Animal Health, you can visit their website, mahcattle.com. From Nebraska, I'm Matt Fleck, reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.